What's up guys, Android21 here coming at you with another deck profile. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, today we're going to be going over my Gotenks deck that will be going up against Sun Ragnarok's Trunks deck in a future video. I'm not sure when yet. But um, yeah, so first off, let me talk about our leader, which is, of course, Gotenks. Um, basically, what he does is that if you if he attacks your opponent's leader and you have less cards in your hand than they do, they have to discard. Same thing on the awaken side, except he also draws a card then. Pretty nice. Um, so going into the actual deck profile now, it's blue green hand destruction. You gotta make some assumptions as to what you're gonna see here, but I that. But let's get into it anyway. Anyway, so, first off, we have four copies of Bundle of Curiosity Son Goku. Basically, you play him, you draw a card, he is assisted most of the time. But he can pressure unawakened leaders with his 10k power. He's also a 0 k combo card, which is always good. And he's the same, which will prove to be a little important down the road. You'll see why. Next up, to serve with the energy, with the uh, hand destruction theme, we have four copies of energy power go tanks. Again, he attacks the leader, they have the discard. There's no hand size involved in this one, it's just straight discard. Moving forward, we have three copies of Super Saiyan go tanks. I figured I'd just lump the two together to both Gotenks. Anyway, he's a 5 drop that can evolve for 4. And then he has double strike. And when you play this card, choose the 2 of your energy and untap them. Then draw one card. Not bad. He's a really good late game pusher. Um, moving forward, we have 4 copies of Hidden Awakening Kale. This card is a beast. What it does is that it's a 4 drop and it has. And it's a 4 drop with 20k power. On top of that, it has critical. On top of that, it has an effect where it, when, it, when it comes to the play, you pop one of your battle cards and pop battle cards of your opponents um, with a total energy cost costing 5 or less. Yeah, this thing can pop tokens. It can pop a shit ton of stuff. Sorry for the language. On top of that, when it attacks and you have five or less cards in your hand, you get to draw a card. So, not bad. Next up is the Broly package. Like I said, it's hand destruction. So, first off, we have four copies of Broly Dawn of the Rampage. You play it for one. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, and you sh can choose a green Broly within them to add to your hand. One of these several targets that we can use to do with that, other than himself, is our four copies of Rampaging Lifeform Bio Broly. He is, what he does is that he's evolved for four, two green and two colorless, has double strike, and... When a card evolves into this card, your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them in the drop area. Not bad. And the last target we have for that is three copies of Broly Rampaging Horror. He is very similar to Vile Broly, except for the fact that he needs one more green. He's four greens and a colorless to evolve. He still has the double strike. But instead of your opponent choosing the two cards, you get to choose at random. And he's 30k. He's a beast. But then again, it's Broly. Up next, we have one copy of Determined Saiyan Son Gohan. I would be running two if I had another copy. But what he does is that he has a four drop with critical, which is, again, huge. And when he comes into the battle area... Um, you yeah, know, you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and KO it. 
That is huge. Since we do have a green leader, the next card should be kind of obvious. We have four copies of Trunks Protect Your Children. Again, like I said, it's obvious. That you're running the green leader, you run the green 10k pump. You run a red, you run Vados. You run a yellow leader, you run the Doria. Yeah. Moving on to the blue side of things, we have two copies of the German Striker Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku. What he is is pretty much just a, a couple extra negates in the deck. Because for, he has counter attack, play this card and negate the attack. Which, that alone is great, but he costs four normally. But he also has a permit, where he, which says, when activating this card's counter, if you have three or less life, you may place two Saiyans from your hand in the drop area. If you do, reduce the energy of this card, card by three. That is amazing. You can literally pay one, negate the attack, and get a 20k body on the field. Yeah. And everything we've talked about so far in the deck has been a Saiyan. So, you have a lot of targets for him. Up next is the only non-Saiyan in the deck. Three copies of Ultimate Judgment Jocko. Basically, he's here to bounce uh, uh, combo cards that your opponent uses during your defensive combo. So, like, you can bounce uh, Choppa, which is also the double strike, by the way, which is a weird thing, but anyway. But they won't get the power boost from him, but you can also bounce things like Tien, uh, Raging Spirits on Gohan, any of the ones that come into play when you combo with them, um, and stuff like that. Uh, moving on to the extra cards, we have two copies of Full Power Energy. Again, just an extra couple of negates on top of what we would normally be running. He also can pop things like Saiyan Kala, uh, Energy Boost to Majin Buu, any one drop that people may be playing, or if they ever make a zero drop battle card. Because here's the thing a lot of people think full power energy can pop tokens. That is not true. Tokens have, have no cost associated unless the card making them specifies. No cost is not the same thing as a zero cost. Keep that in mind. Which is why we run the Kales. That, that's our main token popper. Um, next thing we have is four copies of Weezus Coercion. Like I said, you got the Weezus, you got Full Power, you got the Goku. All of them are extra are negates, which is pretty handy. Get it? <laughs> Moving forward, we have four copies of Sensu Bean. This is our main uh, counter to things like Metacool. Our main counter to things like um, Go Tanks uh, tokens. It's like Go Tanks says that focus more on token spam than hand destruction. This is our counter for that, and other things as well. It just comes in handy. Um, pretty much for those of you that don't know what it does, is an active battle for one blue. The you choose a guard that. To get plus 5k power, and then you untap 2 energy. So literally, you're technically untapping an energy to play it, which is nice. Uh, last extra card, well, last four cards in the deck. Well, okay, let me rephrase. Next two cards are Mafuba! It's mainly here to counter things against Cell. Uh, the ten drops of Masu, things like things that you don't want to get hit by, because what it does is that you, is a counter battle, and you can't use it on leaders. Let me just be clear on that. But you play, they go to attack. You place this on them. It stays on them until the end of their next turn, or until the end of. Let me think. Yeah, at the end of their next turn. So, when they go for their next turn, they cannot tap 
untap whatever they attacked with. Pretty nice. So that's one less that you have to worry about for two turns. And then at the end of that battle, the next turn, the Mofuba goes to your drop zone. And the last two cards in the deck are two copies of Furthering Destruction Champa. Now, this card is in here purely to get things like my Chaos and my Gohan Double Strike. Because Double Strike with Crit, that's amazing. And that's why it's called Hand Destruction, because you don't get the resources if you get hit with Crit. Yeah. So, that's been the deck, guys. Um, be on the lookout for that battle video I mentioned earlier. Where it'll be this deck versus the Trunks deck. We've actually had tested that matchup before at our locals once. We got paired up against, against each other. And truth be told, he did win. I don't know exactly how. We keep that on the down low. But yeah. Anyway. Till next time guys. This has been Android 21. Signing off.